Today we're going to address some issues that we've been seeing in our teardown room for the main bearing due to a clutch pedal not being properly adjusted. I got Tom here from our engine department that's going to go into a little bit further detail of what we're seeing and what the main issue is. Tom? So uh, upon our inspections of some of these engines that are coming in uh, that have failures due to improper clutch adjustment. So the issue is we've been seeing some excessive wear on the thrust bearing here. You can see that on one side it's been completely eaten away and this is directly related to either a push or a pull style clutch depending on which one you have depends on what side of uh, the thrust bearing it's going to be uh, worn away uh, on this example here a pull style clutch where it's pulling back on um, the flywheel causing all the pressure to be on this uh, forward side of the thrust and as you can see this one's completely uh, been pushed into the crank or the thrust side of the crank. Uh, so essentially if this bearing was sitting upward like this, uh, this bearing or the, the crank is getting pulled into uh, the thrust bearing, completely eating it away. And that's from too much throw uh, on the clutch. So what are a few things that can actually help prevent this? Okay, so the biggest thing that uh, is gonna help prevent stuff like this is proper adjustment of your clutch pedal. And the best thing that you could do, especially on a racing style clutch, is where uh, you're gonna see a lot of a throw and have a lot of adjustment is gonna be a pedal stop. So installing a pedal stop, making sure you're not gonna go too far past that proper engagement point, putting too much pressure on uh, the flywheel in either the forward or the rear direction is gonna be the biggest thing that's gonna save your main bearings. Okay, now I have heard the guys in the service area talk about, and I know I'm definitely guilty of this when I had my car is, guys that they can tell that they rest their foot on the clutch pedal sure. when they're driving. Is that something that can cause this premature wear? Absolutely. So okay. uh, if you're riding with your foot up on the clutch, say you're you're waiting to make your next gear change, yes. and you, you're just resting your foot up on there, you might not know it, but you're actually putting some pressure on the clutch, starting that engagement point. Okay. And what that's gonna do is, uh, uh, it's going to put excessive pressure or, or a pressure that's not needed at that given time okay. on, on your crank or your flywheel pushing or pulling that in one direction. So if you have a lot of pressure, you're just resting it on there, creating pressure, uh, it's going to put more wear on those, those main bearings. Okay guys, so that's been what we've been seeing come in. Um, we did go ahead and we made a little video for you to show you actually how to adjust the clutches. Um, so we're going to get into that right now. How to adjust your competition triple disc clutch. Tools needed to make this adjustment. One 12 millimeter open-ended wrench. Two 14 millimeter open-ended wrenches. One 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. One M5 by 0.8 tap. And one M5 by 0.8 button head Allen bolt and nut. First step is going to be removing the throttle pedal. Use your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the two 10 millimeter nuts located on each side. Then unclip the throttle pedal position sensor. By removing the throttle pedal, this will give you easier access to the clutch pedal slave cylinder. Use your 12 millimeter open-ended wrench to loosen the clutch slave cylinder locking nut. After loosening the locking nut, adjust the clutch slave cylinder by twisting it counterclockwise. Do this until the clutch pedal has about 3 eighths of an inch free play. After achieving the 3 8 inch free play, tighten down the locking nut on the clutch slave cylinder. Now recheck the free play in the clutch pedal. Next, we will make the pedal stop. Locate the rubber pad at the back of the clutch pedal. Now remove the rubber pad and use your M5 by 0.8 tap and tap the hole. Next, use your M5 by 0.8 bolt and nut to make the pedal stop. We recommend to follow competition clutches, pedal stop instructions. With the shifter in neutral, start the engine. Bring shifter around as if you were going to put it into first gear. Slowly depress the clutch pedal while still applying gentle pressure to the shifter until the shifter drops into first gear. After clutch is fully released, continue to depress the clutch pedal no more than a quarter of an inch until it comes into contact with the clutch stop bolt. After that is achieved, use the locking nut to lock the bolt into place. Recheck after this is done. Next, we will adjust the clutch start switch. Use your two 14 millimeter open-ended wrenches to loosen the lock nut on the start switch. 
Move the start switch down until it is fully engaged again. After achieving this, tighten down the locking nut. After done, you can test the free play on the clutch fork, as seen in the diagram. It should have a little bit of free movement. As the clutch discs wear, the pedal will come to the top and free play will dissipate. This is an indication that you will need to do the pedal stop adjustment again to avoid clutch or engine damage.